G day people, this is Sharpino here, welcome you guys to episode number 17 of the Pokemon Soulstone Shiny Lock. If you guys are excited for today's episode, and of course you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure to like button down below for us because as always your support is greatly appreciated. In the last episode you guys, we finished going through the rest of Route 105, we made our way over here to Windbale City. Spoke to a lot of old people that really talked about the problems with the Pokemon community. And we got a couple of shinies last episode, so it was a good episode none, nevertheless. Now, while I was off screen, I did find that there were, um, there was a nature modifier in this Pokemon Center. If you want me to show you guys right here, um, this guy right here, he's a psychologist, and he can change the natures for you. So there's that guy there. And then there's this guy over here who can change your abilities. So basically what I did was I got everyone off screen and I changed the natures and abilities to what I felt would be best for them. So let's go ahead and have a look at the team that we're rocking with today for you guys with a full team recap. So we've got Easy Bake the Rotom, Modest Nature, which I changed to, and it has Bolt Switch, Overheat Hex, and Thunder Wave. Now we've got Yogi, our adamant uh our adamant ursaring look at that attack stat and it has guts so it is packing and it has uh smackdown faint attack lick and bulk up we've got ripper our jolly natured epoch uh stoutland uh packing crunch shadow claw bite and shadow sneak we've got terraria our torterra impish nature that hasn't changed all of its moveset remains exactly the same kleenex our timid natured epoch swanna uh, with uh, Air Slash, Dazzle Gleam, Bo Bubble Beam, and Charm. And finally, Aurora, our Epoch Luminion, Modest Nature, with Filter, which turns out that's one of its uh, first abilities, which means it takes less damage from super effective attacks, and it has Water Pulse, Dazzle Gleam, Aqua Jet, and Confuse Ray. So that is our team for today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the episode. Alright, so let's talk to some people here. The checkpoint gate to the right takes you to Route 107A, okay? Did you find my black glasses? Oh yeah, I think we spoke to you. Looking for the DN, uh, we were here last episode. Whoops, my bad. My bad. Um, the pier and beach on Route 106 is a nice way to unwind and relax. Well, that is if you think battling eager Pokemon trainers is your idea of unwinding and relaxing. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, we have the Trubbish over here. Are you... Wild Trubbish attacked. Okay, so this could be a shiny hunt. Um, okay. Let's come back when we get ourselves a shiny Trubbish. Stay tuned for the shiny. Let's go! Shiny Trubbish at 52 soft resets. Let's go! Purple trash bag in the house, ladies and gentlemen. It's one of the Pokemon that spreads the most toxicity because everyone bags it out for being literally a bag of trash. All right, let's go for a Thunder Wave. Pain Split. Okay. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. You need to stop that. Get some help. Trubbish. All right. Uh, Pokeball. Let's go. Catch the trash bag. Ah, oh, come on. Seriously? After all that time, and it explodes on me. Do I even want this Pokemon? You know what? Nope, I'm good. <laughs> that's, that's very disappointing. What the fuck? It doesn't... Oh, there's another one. Do I really want to spend time hunting it though? Could it just explode on me again? Nah, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Oh, it actually could have survived that. Okay. Oh, you motherfucker. I'm afraid of it exploding on me now. That's what I'm more worried about. <laughs> oh, jeez. And we found a full restore. Well, that's just lovely. That's lovely. We had a Pokemon explode on me, but that was lovely. 
If I can find another shiny, I'll catch it. But that's just disappointing. Like, that is honestly, like, really disappointing. Explosion. Wait! You should die! He used Explosion! I don't... Huh? Okay, so there's multiple Trubbish. I really don't want to waste my time hunting for another Trubbish. And honestly, if, I'm, if we're being real here, I don't know if I would use it, per se. If I'm being real with you guys. So, you know. Pokemon's happiness, uh, oh, show me a Pokemon that is special. Oh, my Terraria. How about that? Return. Yes, we can finally put a move on Ursaring. Hello, my friend. Ursaring, my friend. You're finally going to have some stab. And really good stab, mind you. Return and you're adamant. Hell yeah. You'll be one of the most strongest return hitters ever. Put it this way. You're friendly to me. You love me. What's this chick want? I'm looking for Natu. Um, I have Epoch Natu. Windvale, la di da di da. I get Night Terrors. Oh, Suit Bell. Oh, thanks. And you're thinking Rocket by Baby. Okay. Whatever helps you sleep, buddy. I'm so glad that we have Pokey Gears rather than HMs. Have you got the mini Lapras application yet? It'll let you surf. Uh, maybe we'll get that after the monastery. I'm pretty sure that's the way it works, but uh, We've got another Trubbish over here. Hey, buddy. You're trying to explode on me. I don't like that So you should feel very ashamed of yourself Trubbish Exploding on me like that Gunk shot Bite And you have Aftermath. My god, man. Aftermath is just catastrophic uh, Okay how many more trubbishes are there? Because I've killed four. Well, technically I've killed. Yo, wanker! Oh, not again. What brings you to Windvale City? You don't have the security clearance to know that. Oof, you crafty bastard. Using agency double speak on me, eh? I can respect that. Let's have a quick Pokemon battle. Oh, the f Seriously? Ugh. Righto, well hopefully Ripper won't be needed too much. Let's bring in Kleenex. Okay, that, we swallow that big time. Air Slash. Yeah, there we go. Critical hit for good measure. Yeah. Toxty Craig. Uh, I'm sure I should beat a Toxic Craig. I'm pretty sure. Nope. But we survived though. Uh, air slash. Oh, I was afraid you'd have sucker punch. Ooh, Alakazam. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, Ripper, you're up. Confusion. Ha 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 No! No! <laughs> I didn't think of dazzling gleam. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh really? Dude! That's not cool! That is not cool, dude! That is not cool! That is so not cool! He got a crit. Will you stop? Get out of here. My god, man. What the fuck? Oh god. Uh, well, Ants is dead, so that's fun. Uh. Bring an easy bake? Sludge bomb. Ooh. Why does it do so much damage? Jesus Christ! Overheat! Really? It... Will it heal though? You do heal. Okay. Oh, this is really annoying, dude. Leech life. Okay, fine. 
That works just for me. That works just fine. Earthquake. Oh. So we lost a shiny. And now we lost a Pokemon. Fan-fucking-tastic. Oh, bullshit. Shut up. Oof, defeat again. Of all the shit-talking I do, you definitely showed me up that time. What happened, Sharpino? When did you grow some stones? Cameron, you, any particular reason you continue to want to speak to me or... Nah, not really. I see an agent. I have to challenge him to a battle. Alright, Sharpino, I'm off. Good luck for whatever mission you're on. Ha ha. You're an asshole. You know that? You're an asshole. Blessings upon you, young trainer. Welcome to Windell Monastery. Okay, so this is the monastery. I have to put a Pokemon on the PC because it's dead. So you know how fun that is. And I just spent money to freaking get a... Oh my god, dude. That that sucks, dude. We lost Ripper. Our goddamn freaking... It had Dazzling Gleam, dude. Like... Ugh... Goodbye, Ripard. You were awesome. Ugh. Okay. So we do have quite a few different Pokemon we could choose from to add to our team. Um, common weaknesses. Rock, but we have you. Uh, we have a weakness to... Electric, but we got these two, so that's fine. Fighting, but we have these two, so really we could really have a choice, but I think what we should do is we should um, First of all, we'll talk to the people here, okay? I think there's one more Trubbish that is lurking about that we need to vanquish um, Wherever it may be. Oh, here it is. Hey You exploded on me. You killed almost killed one of my Pokemon. And now we've lost our immunity to explosion, so that's fun. And then we're gonna get pain splitted. Of course we are. That was the last of the troublemaking rubbishes. Go back to the old man to reclaim your reward. Oh, those are the. Okay, so that was the rubbish that we were talking about. Have you finished cleaning the monastery grounds yet? Oh, it was a bunch of trubbishes that were going and littering the grounds? Oh, now I feel bad for blaming the tourists. Thank you, my friend. I'm sure the monastery will appreciate your help. Let me give you this as a thank you. And a cleanse tag. Good stuff. As an additional reward, speak to me again when you raid and I'll offer to teach any of your Pokemon to move Recycle. Ooh, actually that could be a pretty good move. If we get like, we do have Snorlax, we have Munchlax. Um, but obviously not now, but like later. Um, so that's... I mean, we lost Ripper, dude. That sucks. That really does suck. Ooh. Wow. Any encounters in here? There are no encounters in here. Well, that's just great. There's a mimic here. Uh, the monastery is home to a number of psychic and ghost types. There are a few exceptions to that rule, of course. Uh, okay. Hello, friend. What do you got there? Friend, my name is Brother Francis. I am one of the lead brothers of this monastery. I came across the Mimikyu in the monastery. I'm looking to give to a trainer that has proven their worth. There are a number of spirits above in the monastery that have been up to no good. Do you wish to take up the challenge of cleansing the tower of this mischievous spirit? Excellent. Be on the lookout for mischievous spirits throughout the monastery. They will like have erected illusions to deceive you. Okay, and in exchange we could get ourselves a free Mimikyu? All right, that sounds awesome. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, we did get encounters here. Wait a second, wait a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the phone. Okay, I thought there were no encounters here, but apparently this area there is. Okay, so I'm seeing a few Epoch Pokemon here. Epoch Doduo, Epoch um, Boltoy, Epoch Minchino. Litwick though, and Epoch Snow Runt. Okay. Interesting. Um, are these guys static encounters though? They are. Um. Ah, we could just reset for it. Aha. Oh, there's more. 
Okay, so we could get ourselves a random encounter or a static encounter. Okay. Well, I will say I do want to get that Litwick though. That Epoch Litwick does look pretty good though. I probably, if I had to choose between normal Litwick and Epoch Litwick, I'll probably say I would definitely want to try to get the um, the Epoch Litwick. So here's what we're going to do. We'll just get a random encounter and then we'll get a Litwick encounter first. So, first we'll beat these two. Down goes Litwick. With Litwick fainting, Ghastly dispels the nearby firewall illusion that Litwick had created. Oh, the Litwick are creating the barriers. Oh. Let us test to see how you are. Oh, okay. Now we're in the battle. That's fun. Down you go. Uh, Matang. Uh... Let's bring in Easy Bake. Then Headbutt. Overheat. And I missed. Oh, and he gets a crit. Can you stop? Gothic. This motherfucker knew the overheat was coming. Oh, you are a motherfucker. Fain tag. And I got flinched. And we take out the Matang. Oh, thank God. Jesus Christ. Whew. My goodness, man. That, that was brutal. There we go. Alright, so the aim is to get rid of the Litwicks then. Wait, can we catch the Litwicks though? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm going to save here. Pressing Q this time. Um, Let's see if we can catch this Litwick here. Epoch Litwick. Can we catch it? We can. Okay. Okay, so with that said, we'll be right back when we get ourselves Epoch Shiny Litwick. Stay tuned for the shiny. Now you guys can actually hear me. I just noticed that my mic was muted. Damn it. <sighs> Epoch Litwick. Yay, 85 encounters. Now you guys got it. Down goes the mischievous. Duskull. Chop it. You can suck a punch, but I ain't gonna do shit though. What happened to me? I don't know, you're asking the wrong person. Alright, so I actually, while I was doing this, I actually remembered that there's actually another. Let's actually check out Festa. Because Ghost like Electric with Tip in Nature. Dude, that is amazing. Nightshade Spark, Discharge, and Shadow Ball. Dude. I reckon it might have a better ability though than Lightning Rod. But, it's still good nonetheless though, so that's awesome. Alright, um... Let's go and put Yogi up front. Yumo Gai Wai... Gai Gai Fai Dei Zao. Okay. Whatever that means. Dark Pulse. Drowsy. Down you go. What's the rest? What? Hunter. Hunt, 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 hunt. Excuse me. And Bennett. And she said the same thing. Okay. Another Soul Keeper. Bro, look at that. Fucking Epoch Well Pete. 
It's psychic and bug. It has to be psychic and bug. Ooh, it's resisted, so it's not... Okay, uh... Electric and ghost. That'll be super effective. And I've got static. Okay. And duosion. Now my guts is going to activate and do more damage. That's what guts is for. Yeah! You have a true spirit. You know what? I'm going to keep the, um... I'm going to keep the paralysis on it. So I can do some more damage. And we found an elixir. Now I remember that there's actually multiple levels and there's actually different encounters on each level. Oh my god. Look at this level. Okay, we got an Epoch Golet, an Epoch uh, Ponita, Epoch Wubat, Epoch uh, Timber, and Epoch Skitty. If I'm being real, even Dewblade. Ooh, imagine Aether Slash. If I'm being real, I do like the encounters on the previous floor better. If I'm being totally honest. You have disturbed my meditation. You were walking around. Epoch Teddyosa. This thing is ghost and normal. How strong is this Teddy Ursa, dude? What the fuck? Use the first heal for this battle. What the hell is this freaking Teddy Ursa on? Get off. Paralyzed! My god, man, I'm, I'm wasting my heals for this battle because I'm trying to take on an Epoch Tediosa. Let's go for Smackdown. Paralyzed. Paralyzed! Stop! This paralysis is doing more damage than good! Epoch Psyduck. Faintack. Oh my god, what is going on here? Uh... I can't risk leaving this thing in, so I'm going to bring an easy bake. Oh, really? Ball switch. Oh, it's water. I thought it was ice type. I was like, wait, what the fuck? Man, this is really annoying, man. Like, seriously, the paralysis looked like it was doing more damage than good. And I'm just like, oh, can we not do this, please? Okay. Um, so we have another epoch... Timber and Epoch Lit Week. Obviously, I'm not going to get another Epoch Lit Week, but um, <sighs> I do like Epoch Timber though. I do. I would like to get Epoch Timber, but then would it be fair if I gave up to get another stake encounter? Would I give up my random encounter? Though? That's the that's the question. Because in all honesty, like, yeah, I'm not seeing many other encounters that's in here. So, I'm going to forfeit my random encounter and just go for two static encounters, okay? So, rather than getting ourselves possibly that... But, do... let me have a look at the random encounters on the other level. I do think the other encounters... Let's, let's have a look at the encounters. They are some pretty good encounters on this level, I have to say. But then when you compare it to this level... There's more... Hmm... It's a bit hard to call. I honestly like... I think there's a little better Pokemon on this level, so you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do the random encounter, and I think that will do. So, we'll be right back. I won't, I'll do run random, one static, like I promised. So, we'll be right back when we get ourselves a random encounter on this floor. For the monastery. Ever seen in the history of any Pokemon ROM hack that I have played. This is incredible. It's really unfortunate that not my Pokemon can learn it, but this is incredible. Wow. Okay. So Mega Evolution is in this game. <gasps> Incre what the hell? Epoch Golet at like five encounters. What the hell? I'm looking at like, wait a minute, that's a shiny? Whoa! 
Okay, we now know it's not ground and ghost. So is it ghost and electric? Just like the the just like the Litwick? We got it! It's steel and psychic! Whoa! It's Metagross! Dude! Um I'm gonna go ahead and call you um Oh I'm, you know what? I've got a perfect name for you. So normally when you're a normal um when you're normal I call you Aztec because you're ghost and you're like mythic, but now you're like more modern with psychic and metal, and I'm gonna call you Alcatraz. So it's like a more modern way of you know that. Yo, that wow. That was awesome. That dude, that was so amazing that. My goodness. Let's continue in the monastery. Mimikyu, Thunder Wave. Hex. Break the disguise. And we get the paralysis. Let's go. Let's go. Pumpkaboo. I was going to say, you shouldn't survive that. Fan Tump. Overheat. Got the radar. Let's Volt Switch out. Let's bring in Kleenex. You want to use fake tears on me? Why? And we get the flinch. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Well, it looks like we've got to get our Pokemon trained up to level 50 from the looks of things. Uh, but we're getting close to... Okay. So, I think we have to defeat all these spirits. So let's beat the Epoch Timber this time. Too bad I can't really... Oh, you're going to sucker punch me, eh? With Epoch Timber fainting, Epoch Liquid dispels the void that Epoch Timber created. So if you want to cut through, but you're going to have to verse those trains eventually. That's the way... Wait, I can't run? Does that have Shadow Tag? What the hell? Spirit Shackle. Now I can't escape, for real. Maybe it's like Ghost and Fighting or something? I don't know. And again, Crunch would be super effective. The Black Glasses. I found those guys' Black Glasses. Okay. An Umbreon. Okay. Dark Pulse. Let's... Because I know you like to play the long game. A critical hit, and we get flinched. Okay. Not liking this. At least we're recovering our health back with the Leak Seed. Epoch Zerua, your ice type. No. That's a big fat no for me. Then again, you could be dark and um, ice. Let's go for Smackdown. Yep, there you go. Lampant. Inferno! Oh! Bro, that was so close. I was afraid of this in my Yogi Bear. Bro, you lending your 50-50 freaking Infernos. Piss off. Seriously, what the hell are you doing, man? Oh, fuck. We need to heal up our team big time. My god, man. This, this game is not messing around now. Like, seriously, what the fuck? I think I really might need to train up my team after this episode. I mean, holy hell. Bubble Beam gets rid of the Litwick. Ghastly dispels the wall. Epoch Ra Rapidash and Knight. Oh, so if we got Epoch Rapidash, we could have got the Mega. This is a double battle. Let's do this double battle, eh? Let's do this. Absol and Driftbloom. Okay, let's go for uh, a Dazzling Gleam, and let's go for a Crunch on the Driftblum. Quick little pops! It looks like Dazzling Gleam will get both of these Pokemon knocked out. Let's go! Golet. And Epoch Gastron that looks like Komoto. Dazzling Gleam, and Razor Leaf. Yeah, I was going to say, no way would that survive. No way! 
Down they go. A lowland Persian and uh, Duosian. Down goes the Persian. And there goes the Duosian. It's a Rurok. I missed Basil. Seriously? A fantastic display by a mere child. Oh, don't you patronize me. So this thing must have shadow attack. It ain't letting me run away. Alright, if you want to fight, let's fight. Oh look, there's a healing lady. Oh good, I've been looking for you. Hey! Healed up, take care. Thank you. Now we have more of these spirits to take on. Now I've got to train up another Pokemon to meet up to our team standards. Another double battle is coming up. Uh, let's bring in Aurora. You speaking a foreign language to me, lady? Golurk and Kofagrigus. Okay. Let's go for a Water Pulse on Golurk and a Razor, and a razor Leaf. Down goes the Gulurk. Terry's level 49. Curse. Oh no. Shadinja. Okay. Uh, water Pulse on you. And we'll go for a Crunch on the Shadinja. And we're at level 49. There goes the Shadinja. I was afraid. I was like, wait a minute. Do we have something? Epoch Drifloon. Okay. Alright, we're going to swap out Terraria because we're getting flogged by the Curse. That that stupid Kofagrig is left on us. Down goes the Epoch Drifloon. Nasty plot. Okay. Not cool, dude. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. That did half. Okay, we survived. We survived. We survived. Oh, okay. Jesus. Oh look, Epoch Lillipop. We didn't see that. What encounters do we have in this level? <gasps> Epoch's Dust Goal? Oh my. Wow, that looks so awesome, dude. That does look amazing. Epoch, oh my goodness. That does look amazing, I gotta say. Uh, do Blade. Water Pulse. Wow. Epoch Herdia. I'll use Dazzling Gleam, just like my Epoch Stoutland died to that move. Herdy, her, 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 her. You know they say, if you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> Alright, so level 50. Right, yeah, we'll swap the team around. Put Kleenex up front again. There's an item here, just sitting here. A Life Orb. Wow, that's actually really good. Who can I give that Life Orb to? We've got Choice Specs, Life Orb. No, 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 not far away. What the hell? Um, I'll put on Yogi actually. That there, yeah, that, that, that'll be really good. Imagine the power of Yogi's returns and all that sort of thing. A Hypno. And wow, he bulked that air slash. But we get two flinches. Let's go. Litwick, we go for the Boobala Bima. The Boobala Biam. Your mask? Flinch again. <laughs> oh no. Fuck. Oh god, really? And I can't escape. Okay. I'll keep doing it. Just don't Miracle. Oh none of these Wobbuffets have done that. That's good. Air slash. Be gone, Epoch Timber. True wisdom comes to those who wait. Jinx. Okay, uh, we can't really handle the ice type. Let's go ahead and bring in Easy Bake. Body Slam. Okay, at least we can't get paralyzed thanks to delayed generation. Overheat. Blam! Epoch Ivasaur, another ice type. Down it goes. 
Alolan Raichu. You're gonna focus blast me. What? Alright, uh, let's bring in Terraria. Earthquake! Down goes the Alolan Raichu, baby, let's go! You've been waiting too long. <laughs> Gastly's gonna attack me! Down goes the Gastly. And that was the last of the Restless Spirits. You can return to Brother Francis now. Okay, so that was the quest. But what's up here? First off, there's an item I can see that's over here. A Twisted Spoon for Psychic type moves. Nice. Okay. What's up? Oh boy. Uh oh. I hope we haven't passed the unskippable part of the battle. You must be Sharpino. How could you possibly have known that? Because I know the Xerus is this and his Shadow Council are coming for me and my Violet Soulstone. It was only a matter of time before they found me. Yes, but how did you know that? Sharpino, you must understand that there's been conflict that has been brewing for more than a hundred years. It is only now finally starting to boil over. I have been preparing for this for most of my adult life. This has been a sacred charge passed down throughout the, the Kuto family. I was entrusted with this responsibility by my mother and by my grandmother before her. Most of my kin, the other soul keepers, have been woefully unprepared relative to myself. Their ancestors failed to pass on their knowledge and the great responsibility that lies on their shoulders. They did not train their descendants and warn them to be ever vigilant. None of them know of the evil that our soul stones restrain, nor what has been sealed away in these pendants of ours for generations. This is what the Watchers and their Shadow Council seek. Xerus is only one of many servants to a far greater evil that was locked away a long time ago. They seek to collect all the soul stones and release the evil and this latent power trapped within these stones. I await the Shadow Council. Let them try to come and claim me. I will be ready for them. Somebody call? Ah, you must be one of Xerus's lackeys. I expect you're here to try to reclaim my soul stone. There won't be any trying, priestess. Is that so? Well then, why don't you take it from me? Challenge accepted. Missed me? How did you evade us? Witch! How rude. I didn't even have my Pokemon to protect me. No matter, your shadow magic holds no sway against me. I have mastered the shadow and darkness in anticipation of this day. Now it is only my turn to repay in kind. My shadow, shadow snake, now! Ugh! Weakling, how could you let your guard down like that? Piss off, Constantine! It's a damn mythical Pokemon! It came out of nowhere! So, a soul keeper that has learned to tap into the power of their soul bond with their mythical Pokemon. An unfortunate turn of events, but this is a minor setback nonetheless. You underestimate my strength, Shadow Con Counselor Constantine. I'm not like the rest of my pushover kin. Ma Shadow, finish the job with Phantom Force! Brother, its power is too much. Run before it finishes you off too. Warn Xerus! Witch, what did you just do to my brother? I eradicated his essence with my Ma Shadow. Your turn. Ma Shadow, you spirit shackle! What have you done to me, woman? Why can't I fade into the shadows? Making sure you don't escape. I'm not letting you run back to Xerus to warn him. You aren't going anywhere until I say so. Ah, uh, release me! Because you asked nicely. Ha! Yeah, right. Now tell me where the other Watchers are. Let it be known that the Order of Watchers made the first move. I'm not waiting for you to hunt my kin. I'm going to take the fight to you and exterminate the rest of you vermin from this realm once and for all. Sienna, control your temper! Aki, what are you doing here? Right when the bloody Shadow Council's at my mercy too. Sienna, you're better than this. Don't give in to the anger. If you do that, we both know that the Soulstone will grow in power. Then get the hell out of this place. Let me finish the job then. Your rage will doom us all. It will just embolden the Fallen One's return. No, what will doom us all is if you be in the same damn room as me. Foolish Soul Keepers. Marshadow, no! The bickering between you rats just seals your defeat. We won't be making the same mistake twice. Marshadow, search the Shadow Realm. Ah, oh, like Yu-Gi-Oh. See if you can find the bastard. Ugh! Damn it, Aki! Why don't you have to go sticking your nose where it doesn't belong? 
Marsha and I had the damn shadow council by the balls. If you hadn't barged in here with your damn lapis soul stone, I could have taken out that counselor too. There's a reason why we stay the hell apart. You just gifted Zerus and his watchers with some key intelligence. Now Zerus knows we're on to him. I didn't realize the shadow council were already here and you were under attack. I was prepared to help you too. Aki, you idiot! When the soul stones are together, the power of the fallen one is amplified, empowering his followers. Otherwise, that Shadow Council would have escaped while Mars Shadow and I had him where we wanted him. I don't regret what I did though, Sienna. I'm just saving you from your own temper. With all the training you have, did you forget that giving in to the temptation of your emotion also equally emboldens your foe? You're the most lethal of the rest of us with the burden you have to carry. Ugh, I know, but the ends justifies the means. I was just eradicating them like they did to Shaman and his Soul Keeper. Uh, wait, what? No, they didn't. What do you mean, no they didn't? Shaman is alive, as is his soul keeper Emil Liano, as far as I know at least. Marsha just told me it's sense that his connection to Shaman has suddenly disappeared. We just assumed this meant Shaman and the Jade Soul Keeper were gone. No, they were just being detained by my employer. Zerus and his Shadow Council don't have them at all. Your employer? Who the hell is your employer? We'll get to the bottom of that later, but for now, Sienna, who is this? My cousin Pierre told me some government person by the name of Sharpino was coming to save me and to protect this violet crypt pendant. As if I need any protection. He told me that some shadow creatures attacked him and took his pendant. I knew immediately that it must have been Zerus. So I've been waiting here for Zerus and his shadow council to try and claim my soul stone. Can we trust Sharpino? I'm not certain. Sharpino, I would challenge you to a Pokemon battle. Clearly you must have some quality to you if you were able to beat my cousin in a battle and save his ass from the shadow council. Sharpino beat Pierre? So I'm told. Well in that case, I want to watch this. Sharpena, speak to me when you're ready for a battle. And that's where we're going to wrap things up today, guys. Well, apologies about that little mute section there earlier, but hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you like button down below, because as always, you'll support great Pokemon. Stay tuned for the next episode of the Pokemon Soulstone Shylock. Rest in peace to Ripper, our Epoch Stoutland. We do have to get ourselves another member added to our squad right now. Um, as far as which one I'm going to add though, that is a really interesting question. So I'll do some deliberating, do some training, and we'll be back for the next episode. So until next time, I see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later!